The Brain Fest is a first for Cambridge Neuroscience and it's a public festival where we're bringing together neuroscientists all over Cambridge to uh, show their research in a series of 30 interactive exhibits. Ultimately we've done this so that we can tell you, the public, about the kinds of research we do, the process of research, what are the important questions and how we go about studying it, but also it's a time for you to tell us about what your concerns are, what your wants and your thoughts are about research. Brains are marvellous, aren't they? Important, uh, complex, mysterious in many ways. Uh, they're what make us see and move and think, feel emotion, plan ahead, decide we'd like to come to the Variety Showcase on Friday night at BrainFest. Uh, brains are really the reason we're all here. Uh, and of course, being so important, if they go wrong, it can be a big problem. Um, Alzheimer's disease, depression, are some of the many brain and mental health disorders which represent some of the biggest health challenges we face uh, in the world today. Hi, my name is Hisham, I'm a psychiatrist and a researcher and today at the Brain Fest we want to show people how the brain works as a prediction engine and how when it goes wrong it can result in the experience of psychosis. We're from Alzheimer's Research UK and we're here at Cambridge Brain Fest um, showcasing some of um, our activities. So we have a virtual reality experience that puts people in the shoes of a lady who has dementia. We um, have a stall and thinking about anhedonia which is a symptom we see in psychiatry in um, conditions like depression and schizophrenia. And anhedonia is when you um, are unable to feel any pleasure. So MS is a disease that affects people, particularly in the West. If we look in the brains of someone with multiple sclerosis using MRI scans, this is what you see. So most of the brain is healthy, but there are little patches of damage. There's patches of scarring. Emotional memories are so interesting to study from a basic memory perspective, partly because they go wrong in mental health disorders. So both post-traumatic stress and drug addiction can be considered as disorders of maladaptive memory. Clearly we can ask questions now about what happens when the, when the circadian clock goes wrong. And the most obvious, I'm sure many of you are aware of it, is jet lag. And the cycle of light and darkness is no longer what your SCN is molecularly geared up to predict. I hope I've convinced you that we have got new directions and new roads to dementia treatment. Trying to basically fix synapses because that will fix, uh, that will help the neurons stay alive. That keeps a large portion of the population out of institutional care, meaningful quality of life. We know what Ritalin does at a molecular level, but nobody really knows in the brain where it works to alleviate attention deficit hyperactivity. There are just some illnesses which socially we find very difficult to react to in, a, in, a, in an appropriate way. We really just need to think about mental health disorders as being every bit as important as physical disorders. Cambridge Brain Fest has celebrated uh, neuroscience in Cambridge. What is it about Cambridge that uh, makes it so great for neuroscience? I think you've seen the answers here. Uh, we've got a really strong and diverse community a lot of very talented young people from all over the world looking at the brain in all sorts of different ways. Tremendous creativity and collaborative spirit and I think that's what really makes uh, Cambridge Neuroscience a bit special.